I grew up in a family of musicians and we've always done music. I played piano and then I um, played in a rock band, rock band for like almost 10 years. So I've never been doing anything besides music. It's just a different kind of music I'm doing right now. The first time I played a little, little tent, like 300 people. The second time I played main stage, but very early. And now I played main stage at a really good time. And next time I'll do uh, my own festival called Mega Festival with 500,000 people, one stage. I get nervous. I got nervous quite a lot before I had to go on. And uh, it's a great thing. I mean, it's awesome to be nervous. Sometimes if you play, the same kind of thing, the same shows, smaller shows, you get used to it. And then there's like a couple hundred, no, not hundred, but I don't know how big this is, like 40,000, 50,000 yeah. on stage. It is kind of, you know, you get nervous for sure. I hate starting something, not finishing it. And I cannot live with something on my album not being perfect. That's why I moved the deadline a few times and, you know, I, it, everything has to be perfect. I make songs and some of them, for example, when I made Clarity, there were some songs that just did not really fit the, like this album. I still love them, like Beauty and the Beat was a song. Um, I loved it, but it just did not, like I, I played it after every song of my album that existed at that point and it just didn't fit. So I decided to, like before it just waste the song which I love I'll give it to someone who can use it you know in this case it was Justin Bieber next time it might have been someone else you know if you <laughs> make music that follows trends yes if you make timeless music that is based on the same rules the same way people like music 500 years ago it you will like it in 500 years from now because things have not really changed in, in like you know, harmony and melodies. People still like the same chord progressions, um, you know, they've liked 300 years ago. If you try to make music that is timeless, you know, that catches your heart and that makes you emotional, you will love it today and you will most likely love it in 50 years, I believe. Queen, um, Bands like Silverchair and Radiohead and um, Empire of the Sun. I've loved theater, Muse, mostly bands really. Um, you know, I've never been into electronic music before. I just started doing it because I had fun doing it, you know. And Dead Mouse Grillix, obviously, you know. Justice and Death Punk are two big inspirations for sure. I was on the beach, made a joke. I never thought about it, said, you know, I hope you don't mind if I make some laps around your cube on stage and then uh, actually I thought it could be funny to really do it. I didn't plan on doing it, I just said it. And then uh, it became a challenge and um, we got the wristbands, got on stage, I did my laps, a couple push-ups. That was pretty much it, yeah. 